This is an unplanned video. Many of you have reached out to us that there is a video on the internet that shows worms found inside a face mask. I watched this video. And after few seconds it was clear to me that the thing shown in the video was obviously not alive. It's probably fake and the panic is unnecessary. But this statement might not be enough for some of you and we will have to show you exactly how they got it moving. First we took a clean face mask and had a good look at it. Um, we don't see anything special. If we look at the video we can tell the size of the worms by comparing them to these squares. We see the squares with the naked eye, so the worms should be also clearly visible. I tried to look at the face mask under the microscope, but I didn't find anything. Certainly some thread is playing the role of worms in this video. Maybe it's taken out of close or something. I do believe it to be synthetic. And the best source of synthetic fiber can be found in plushies. We had to cut each of them a bit to get several types of fiber. So, here we have them under the microscope. But they're not moving, contrary to what we see in the video. We try to do it in many different ways. We increase the humidity of the room. And we try to heat it with the help of a special lamp. Which melted our microscope a little. And during our experiments I remembered static electricity. Experiments with it that they taught us at school. Just take a plastic pen or a marker and rub it on some woolen material. And with electrified plastic reaching the fiber, some of the threads began to move realistically. Not every pen worked properly. We tried a few of them before we could attract this thread. That's most likely how the video you sent us was made. There are no worms in the masks. They at least could have come up with something more realistic. For example, I would put a lava there instead. I hope you are calm after this video. Send this video to your friends so they may not be afraid of such nonsense.